Hello, how about today we conceive an anvil using our own dimensions? So you're gonna have to conserve it. So let's go without wasting any time. So we're gonna go new V, and then from there we go standard millimeter, we go create. So we already know our drawing plane, which is XY. So I'm gonna start with my rectangle. Okay. And remember, I'm going to pull those lines here. First, let me just give dimension. So I want from V to here to be 500 millimeters or 50 millimeters. Okay. And then I want that one V to be 300 millimeters or 30 centimeters. Okay. So then again, I come with my lines for guidance that's one over there plus this one over there okay then i want from here to the to be 150 150 and uh, they to the to be 250 it is 250 and then I make sure to drag it back there. Drag it back there. Okay. So that is done. And I come here. I draw the straight line of mine. That one. And this one. Okay. Then again, I make sure that this one, that this one is parallel to that one. And this one is parallel to this. Okay. And then I want thus distance from that first line to my second one to be 90 millimeters so that need to be 90 millimeters i got that one then i draw this line that's one that's one i want from the to here to be hundreds that need to be hundreds This one need to be hundred. Again, I want from the to here to be forty-five, forty-five millimeters. So I need to make sure about each step. Okay. And then I want that line back there. So I got that. So here, what I need to do next, I want to trim that. This one, that's one, that's one, this, this one, that's one, that's one, and that's one. Okay, that as well. So I need to trim this. I need to trim this. Okay, but I need to make sure that I have my dimension straight. So that needs to be that. This needs to be that. That need to be that because sometimes something funny might happen, so you need to make sure about what you're doing. So you need to make sure about your dimensions. So I'm happy with that. I need to make sure that that one is 500. I'm happy. And then what I'm gonna say first that and that. So that and that as well. That's correct. Then I say finish sketch. Okay. So I come up here. So I come back on origin. <coughs> I choose my drawing plane, which is XY. <coughs> then I come there up there. I say plane. So I click on there. I drag it up up to 50 millimeters. So that needs to go up to 50 millimeters. And then I click on my plane. Then I say new sketch. I draw my line again for guidance. So I want this one. I want that one. Once I'm done with that, I come and then I draw a rectangle. So I have to have a rectangle there. That is my rectangle. And my rectangle need to be 250 from the 
to the that needs to be 250 250 so which means from the to the that one needs to be 125 and from the to the that one needs to be uh, 160 160 you can come up with your own dimensions though okay but this is just for guidance okay this is for guidance how we can conceive this so that is one fifth so i got that one so from here to the from here to the that's one need to be 80 millimeters so that need to be 80 millimeters so once i'm done with that i go escape and i drag my drone back there okay so am i happy with that am i happy with that i'm happy with that then again i come up there okay i drag it up up to 50 again what do i do I click on my drawing plan then i say new drawing i come here or new sketch i just try to copy that so i want to do the same thing so i just make sure that that matches the first rectangle so there you go so again <laughs> i say finish sketch i'm done with this one okay so i come up there again i draw i go up to 150 so up to 150 150 and then i click on my plane i say new sketch i come up here so yeah this is my final point so i have to draw my drawing my lines for guidance that's my first one the horizontal the vertical one i go for my second one which is the horizontal one i'm done with it then i go for rectangle so there is my table so i want that one over there to be 700 huh this envelope gonna be massive 700 okay and i want this one here to be 350 350 okay so i make sure that's from the to the that's one need to be 175 okay and I want from here to here to be 350. So that need to be 350. Okay. So again, I draw my lines back there. I drag it. I drag them back there. So that's my first one. I drag my second line back there. So now I think I'm done. I say finish sketch. So after that, what am I gonna do now? So I come then and I say extrude function. So I choose my first drawing to go up to 50 millimeters. I say okay. And then I say loss function. So I want that one to go up to V. I say okay. Again, then what I do is I come and I say extrude. So I want this one here, my table, to be extruded. So it needs to go up to 120 millimeters. So that is extruded. Okay. And then I choose visibility. Visibility. Yes. Then what I do is I got no function. So I want that one, the loft function, to be used on these two faces. So that sketch and this other sketch. So let's go up there. There we go. As I come here, what condition? Then I say, okay. So this is how 
my envelope looks like okay but i'm not done yet so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna try to draw this side here this part here okay so i go on x z plane and then i come here i choose the plane i go up to bcd to the results i say okay so i select the plane i say new sketch there you go then i draw those lines here for guidance that's my first one escape that's my second one escape so and then i come up with the i choose an ellipse okay so that is my ellipse I want that one to be like that so that's okay all right i say finish sketch again again i come up there i drag this plane again a little bit out let's say up to uh, minus up to minus 300 that's fine so i come there i select my plane i say new sketch there you go so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna draw a circle so i want my circle to be a little bit opposite so they just like that that's fine eh? i say finish sketch so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go extrude there. Then I select my drawing. I want it to go on there to go inside, let's say up to 45. 45. So you can see it went inside up to 45. Then I select my fifth sketch. I saw visibility. Then I select the lot function. So I want the drawing there to come up to there. Then I say okay. So this is how my anvil looks like. So this is how your anvil looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all the visibility. So I want that one to be off. Drawing looks like. So I want this sketch to be not visible. That one is off. Not visible. The drawing plane off. not visible not visible not visible that's why i need to be not visible that's why not need to be not visible so yeah so this is how your anvil looks like okay so that offset that we put in front you can see now the tip is kind of looking downwards downward because of the offset that we put okay so if we have to choose the material for the our elbow so we can go if um cast iron let's choose cast iron okay so if we go up here then we choose uh with cast iron cast iron so this is how your anvil looks like okay this is our anvil looks like so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you're gonna enjoy it so i'm expecting to see you in the next video and for now i'm gonna ask you to ask you to take care of yourself and i'm gonna say bye see you next time ciao